For those of you who know the area and know that I'm in Golgong, I'm doing the Central West Cycle Trail. Um, I'm, I'm not one of these people that's going to be doing it all in one day. I'm going to do about a 240 kilometer loop and I'm going to do it over four days. So here's the bike. Uh, it's the Giant Trance 2 2019, same as I rode on my last video. Um, I've got the Tula pack and pedal uh, bags and rack on the back. I've got the double bottles of scratch in the middle. Behind the seat post, I've got a small bag with a toolkit. And up the front, I've got a just a handlebar bag. Two minor additions up front. I've got this bag on the crossbar um, just to be able to carry some food in there and the reason I want to carry food in there is because in the main bag I want to put all my camera gear and I don't really want the food and camera gear mixing. Part of the reason for wanting the extra space in the bag at the front is because I've got a new camera. Uh, I've been running a GoPro 8 black and it's been good but for me a bit unreliable. So I now have a GoPro 11 black. Let's hope it works really well today. So what do I know about the route today? I know it's predominantly flat, 150 meters of climbing. Um, and yeah, it's gray, a bit moist today. So I might get a bit muddy, but yeah, I'm hoping for a nice, slow, easy day. So the main road north is just over there. I've just turned off it. And here I'm on what's called Old Barney's Reef Road. And reefs are not like in the tropics where you go swimming around them. We're talking about gold. This is an old gold mining area. So after 10 k's of Barney's Reef Road, um, I think I'm about to turn off onto the first, well, what's marked as a gravel road. So yeah, let the games begin. I know GoPros won't do this any justice, but this is a very pretty road, very pretty. So I've stopped to take a little break. <clears throat> um, we've been cycling about an hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes now. I don't know if you can hear it, but the cockatoos are going off. Um, I don't know if it's me that they're having a go at, but they certainly don't sound happy today. Well, that nice smooth gravel road has now given way to a much rougher old road as I go over a bit of the hills here. I think I'm basically about the highest point for the whole trip, which is about 500 meters. So not very high at all, but basically for the last 20 Ks, we've been going uphill. So this afternoon should be 20 Ks 
going downhill. Let's hope. Yeah, I don't know how much traffic goes down down this road. I'm surprised how cold it's been today. Um, I don't know what temperature it is, probably about 10 degrees centigrade. Um, so yeah, after I stopped at lunchtime, because I'd been a bit sweaty, I've now got quite cold. So hence the scarf, I don't know if you can see it around my neck, um, but yeah, it's not too bad, especially when you get going again. But this trail, it's epic. I thought it was just gonna be some long, boring farm gravel road, but uh, no, this is well worth doing. This is a lot of fun. That's the weirdest bridge I've ever seen and a little bit worrying, but anyway, here we go. I can't explain to these sheep that I'm actually not trying to kill them, I'm not after them. So they keep running ahead of me. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do about this because you know, being sheep, we're starting to get quite a flock ahead of us. There they go. Turns out they don't want to get wet feet and the track is very wet through here. That was a fairly painless 600 meters on the Castlereagh Highway. That, uh, that bit beforehand with all the water and the weird old crossings and everything, that took me an hour um, to do six kilometers. So yeah, if it's been wet, you need to be a bit careful. That bit is very slow. But now I'm on Birrawa Road, just a standard old gravel road. And I think this takes me into Dunny Do for the day. Just met a lovely old chap on his e bike cycling in the other direction. He's from Dunny Do and he's just decided to go out for a bit of a ride this afternoon. I don't know how old he'd have been, probably somewhere around 80. And yeah, just out for an afternoon cycle. Well, I think I've just made it to Dunny Do. There's the sign that says so. At 70 metres at the intersection, turn right to Wallaroo Street. So tonight I'm staying at the Royal Hotel, which is a bit of a bizarre little place, um, right in the middle of Dunny Do. It's um, supposedly a pub but none of the downstairs is operating as a pub it's just got rooms upstairs and at $65 per night it'll probably tell you all you need to know about the place um, it seems quite sweet seems quite nice I like these kind of quirky places but uh, hmm, interesting Well, that's Dunny Do. It's 9.30 in the morning. I'm going up to Menduran this morning, or Menduran. Um, it should be relatively flat, but I think I said that yesterday. Uh, yeah. Most of it is gonna be off-road. I'm not looking forward to those trucks that you just saw going by 
if I'm going to be on the same road, but um, yeah, let's uh, wait and see what happens. So that was Dunny Do. Um, to my eyes, not a very pretty town, but a very friendly town. Everyone there was super nice. Well, <clears throat> straight out of Dunny Do is quite a long climb. It's only one or two percent, but with a bike full of bags and being old and fat and slow, it's certainly hard work, but it's definitely worth it because the views are epic. One of the things I haven't talked about too much is the weather here, and then at this time of year it's quite cold. So you come down the other side when you're sweating, yeah, it's got to be near zero on your body. I'm freezing coming down these hills, but uh, yeah, it's still epic though. Oh, is that a bit of sun I can feel on me? That feels magnificent. Just a little bit of warmth. All right, that's the last of the notable hills done for the day, supposedly. I think I said something like this yesterday and then spent most of the afternoon going up and down hills. Um, but supposedly from here into Menderen, it's uh, about 26 k's of downhill. Now, yeah, jury's out. We'll see what it actually looks like on the way I can see there's a bit of a hill straight ahead so I think it's going to go up and down but the sun is coming out I'm in the middle of the country it's lovely day <clears throat> that's most of the fun interesting nice riding over and done with I've got 1.9 kilometers and then I'm gonna hit the Castle Ray Highway um, probably not gonna do an awful lot of videoing on there if I can help it um, there's a lot of big trucks come up and down it I believe could be very wrong um, but that's about 15 kilometers into Menderen just as I'm getting to the end of this gravel road, and I can hear the traffic in front of me, there's a couple of emus just ran across the road. They're, they're impossible to photograph, especially on a GoPro, but yeah, emus out here, who'd have thought? So as I suspected, it's a busy old road. A lot of wind off those things as they go by. So that's the end of day two. Had a really good ride today. Um, surprised at how high or how much um, hills there was to go over and that's probably just because I've got a bit more weight on the bike compared to normal. I'm carrying uh, some extra batteries and some extra camera gear for different reasons and I've got to carry quite a bit more food with me because um, there's a lot less places to stop. But that to you know put to one side it was lovely um, saw a number of kangaroos as I commented on earlier on and, and was surprised when I saw um, a pair of emu uh, 
uh, running through the bush just before I reached the Castlereagh Highway. Um, that Castlereagh Highway into Mendoran is, uh, it, was, it was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. The traffic was not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. And it's fairly quick coming down there, which was good. And it's lovely to be here. I've got here about half past three in the afternoon, which means I've got plenty of time to clean myself up, have a bit of a rest, and then go and get something to eat. Well, good morning. Um, <clears throat> yes, the sky is blue, no clouds, no wind. Uh, started off this morning very cold, um, like about one degree, it's warming up quite quickly. Just had breakfast in the local cafe at Mindoran and I'm about to go down through the state forest. Um, I'm told it's supposed to be one of the favourite parts of the trip, so we're uh, looking forward to today. Well, it's almost a shame to be turning off, but that road goes to Dubbo. I want to go to Ballymore and this is the trail I need to take for the next 35 kilometers. Gotta say, this is my sort of happy place, out in the forest trails, cycling along on a sunny winter's day. It's ideal. Gunu State Forest. It's a beautiful part of the world. Um, today it's Saturday lunchtime. I think I've got the entire place to myself. Certainly feels that way. I haven't seen another person since I turned off the highway. It's beautiful. out of the woods, I'm now down in the farmland. Um, got to tell you that last part coming down out of the woods on a sunny, sunny winter's afternoon, it's magic. Uh, this is pretty nice down here now as well, beautiful. You'll see them, but that's wild boar running down the track here. Saw one earlier on. That was a pair, you know, they've gone off somewhere into there. You can tell when you're in the country when you've got to pull over for one of these boys to come through. Well, 
sheep now that I have your attention. Oh, sorry, <laughs> didn't mean to scare you off. Well, I just walked that last hill. I'm starting to get a bit tired. I think it was about four or five percent it ended up getting up to, but now it's roughly up and, up and down a bit, but mostly downhill to Gulma. So I just stopped in Gulma for lunch. Um, just took a nice break. It's clearly an old pub. It's no longer used there. Um, there are some toilets here, but that's about it. Not much else. So back on the highway we go. There's only been four or five Ks on this main road from, I think it's the Mudgy Dubbo Road. Um, and it's a lovely road surface, don't get me wrong, but there's an awful lot of cars. And because it's quite narrow, there's very little runoff so the cars are coming quite close so i'm going to turn off here onto i'm not quite sure it's called miles road or something like that and it's going to take me through the hills might take a little bit longer but it's going to be a hell of a lot safer and hopefully a bit prettier it is signed to mebul m-e-b-u-l uh, whatever that is i presume it's just a small town or village I don't know if the uh, maps are showing this as being uh, gravel or bitumen because um, there's a sign at the beginning of this road saying that it's just been laid with bitumen so I suspect uh, there's a bit of debate on Google Maps at the moment as to uh, what the surface is but it's, I can confirm it's bitumen at the moment. It looks like gravel dead ahead though. Yeah, so that, that was about six kilometres of, of bitumen and now we're back into you know, drought gravel or dirt road. So we're back up in fairly high country. I'm um, going up a hill, I'm pushing as usual. Um, going past another working forest. I kind of like to see them good to know that you know things are being managed and looked after properly so they've pulled the timber out of here you can see there are other trees in the background and they'll clear it and then they'll replant it So that's the end of the gravel. We're now back on the bitumen. I'm about 10 kilometers out of Golgong, which is where I started four days ago. So I'd like to say thanks for watching this video. If you like this sort of thing, please think about subscribing and give it a like. Thanks for watching.